<laughs> it's a piece of shit walking down a trail of shit, leaving shit crumbs to find his way home. I can't keep track of all the shit. <laughs> Brian Stelter. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just can't take him. It started yet? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It all the name alone. <laughs> Here's the thing: it's a slow. Nothing about this is going to be good. No, <laughs> uh, it's all accurate, but it's very off-putting. <laughs> yeah. Much like Brian Stelter. So yes. this is long overdue for Brian Stelter. Uh, but the past few weeks, he's really earned it with the leftist propaganda he's been pushing. And, and, it's, and, and even more, you know what? It's just, it's time for this week's What a Piece of shit. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Way to reach into the we vault. We shortened that. Yeah. yeah, reach into the vault to find that picture. Okay. Do you have Brian Stelter? You don't have him in Canada. Is that what he really looks like? Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to have a is bunch that's of... That's a real person? <laughs> This is oh, a real that's life. amazing. This is a real person on the news. He has his own show. Yes. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, so reason number five, and this is what bothers me most. I know this should probably be number one, but I think it sets up the context it most does. importantly. This guy, Brian Stelter, is constantly... But, and, and he doesn't even see how transparent it is. It's inadvertently transparent. He's yeah. not trying to be transparent, <laughs> but he's accidentally transparent, he's transparent in praising his own show, his own network, and he's constantly, tra his whole show, it's just about convincing you of his value as a media dinosaur. Here you go. And I'm actually a defender of this cable talk show model. I'm an avid viewer of it. Of course you are. Because news headlines are ubiquitous these days. Yeah. Our phones alert us to the news. So cable is more like a rolling talk show, letting people be a part of the daily debate about how our country should be governed and how our world should work. But here's the thing, speculation actually has value too. It helps open our eyes, helps open our minds to what's possible. I know people like to mock cable news in moments like this. It's an easy punchline, right? Of course. We are kind of standing by to find out what the news is gonna be, waiting for AG Barr to tell us something. Nothing. But that does have value too. No! <laughs> it gives you a place to go, a place to turn to. A recognition that you're not the only one who wants to know. What? Did, what did, go, go read an online article. Go home. Oh go to gosh. the pub and get crap faced. Anything but this. Yes. It what? adds value too. It's complete speculation, devoid yes. of facts. What a piece of shit. <laughs> you, you, Brian Stelter. You use your airtime to advocate why you need the remaining portion of your airtime. <laughs> By the way, did you know Pentelis? He's he's straight. For a really? talking penis, though, he lacks charisma. <laughs> he lacks charisma. You'd think he'd have more. You'd think he'd be a little more whimsical. Oh, my gosh. He's just, he, Brian Stelter, you generally don't get the story right. You nearly no. always get it wrong, and then you double down. Don't believe me yet? Well, we're going to get to reasons four through one, you piece of shit. So let's go to <laughs> <laughs> reason number four. I should have had a language warning. It's bleeped, but this yes. is this is designed with yeah. it in mind. But I just there's no other way to describe Jesse Smollett and Brian Stelter. And yes. I know he's going to see this. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> he blamed the synagogue shooting, okay? This is reason number four. Blame the synagogue shooting on Fox News anchors. Oh, Here you on. go. The, the ridiculousness of this rhetoric, but it is effective among some people. I sure hope some of those Fox hosts, some of those commentators, take a moment, take a minute to think about their role in this environment. <laughs> Hopefully there's some soul searching right now in the wake of this massacre. What? Oh my gosh. Huh? By I the have way, not seen that. What? what does that have to do with asylum seekers? He's like, if we had more immigrants, they could shield the Jew. What is he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you will notice a trend as we go through these clips. He's the news correspondent equivalent of uh, Christian Bale. Like, these all occur within the yeah. same year, and it's like, guess his weight. Step right up. Step right up. <laughs> well, this clip's from after Thanksgiving. See? So oh Stelter, uh, here he, uh, he argued that Fox is referred to immigrants as invaders and that this right. somehow drove someone to shoot, I guess, a bunch of a bunch of Jews. That's what he's trying to huh. say. Fox News is responsible for shooting Jews. Uh, Muhammad, it. by the way, not responsible no. for anyone having sex with six-year-old girls or, you know, killing Jews, as no. he called for in no. his last words. That would be a misinterpretation of kill the Jews. Insensitive. That was Steven. a smear campaign. It yes. was definitely a smear. <laughs> it was a smear campaign from Big Hadith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how about this? Call me when CNN, when you do a segment, Mr. Stelter, on how uh, Ilhan Omar or Linda Sarsour, they're responsible for hate crimes against you. So let's just do that. Because I know people say it's not yeah. fair to compare Muhammad. Okay, gotcha. current figures. But, yeah. Brian, I don't think you will. That would require you to be consistent, which you most never are, and is ironically one of the strong suits of most pieces of shit. 
So it's, it seems as though you've missed the boat even on that. By the way, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed on YouTube because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot anymore. Also, bookmark the page because notifications may not work anymore. Let us know if you're getting them. Best thing is to join at lightwithcrider.com slash mug club. Uh, you get the full catalog, full daily show. And of course, subscribe on iTunes and rate us there uh, because we might be pulled. Who knows? Okay, Never reason done. number three. Um, this one should, I mean, I almost could just roll the clip, but let me just set it up in case for people who are listening in the car. He pushed half and, he pushed, <laughs> he, pu he, pu he pushed half and <laughs> I saw it. Have a It's so hard. It's hard to get out of my mouth. I'm embarrassed for him. <laughs> Which one, Avenatti? Yeah, no, both. <laughs> he pushed Avenatti as a presidential candidate. Oh. Seriously, repeatedly. Here you go. President Obama also had a lot of TV star power, and that helped him pre-Trump. Uh, but Trump is more evidence of this. And looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. Really? Uh, mm. Put a black air at soundboard. Hit that. That one needs, that's a big, uh, yeah, there you go. What a piece of shit. I'll give him an extra one. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. That seems like a Brian Stelter one. Yeah, that seems like the one that he would do. Yeah, it's, and, and he would blame it's it on the in. dog. Yeah. But not like as a joke that's cute. Like, it's the dog. He'd be like, no, it's seriously the dog. I think we need to put it down. Yeah. He would take the dog <laughs> to cover up his own tracks God. to the vet and have the dog put down just yeah. so he wouldn't be blamed. He's, with Avenatti, he's specifically only taking him seriously because of his appearances on CNN. Again, <laughs> go back to reason number five. It's like, I think that you would be a great president because... I want to remain employed? And no. you're on my show. That means you're important. You're Otherwise, you wouldn't be on my show. All wrong. It's because he likes his hair. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. There is a bit envious. of a camaraderie there. Yeah. A little bit. By the way, the only reason Avenatti was there was because you! You put him there. <laughs> Avenatti was on CNN and MSNBC over a hundred times in ten weeks. Oh my yeah, gosh. A hundred times in ten weeks. Weeks. If you want to, this is kind of like what Bill, wow. Bill Maher said. Oh, I, if I want to know that Trump colluded with the Russians, I just turn on my TV I have and eyes. see yourself. Yes, <laughs> saying it. This is like Brian Stelter saying the reason Avenatti would be great is because he's on all of the important shows. Well, which shows? My show. He's on my show. <laughs> Therefore, he should be president so he could be on more shows when he's president. Which shows? My show. I think he should be on my show so he becomes president so he comes back on my show completely 100% straight. Buy it. <laughs> what is that go getter Avenatti up to now? No, I'm curious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I know. I'm glad yes, actually, well. Avenatti, who himself is equally a piece of shit, uh, now been arrested for trying to extort Nike for $50 million. So oh, I wouldn't hold oh, my okay. breath. Well, that's, yeah, 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 exactly. He's taking one of those prison readiness classes right now. <laughs> yes. Here's what you do. And when on he went in and they asked him to put his belongings in the bin, he said, Wait, yeah. haven't you seen me on Stelter? And they said, Sir, <laughs> no one's seen you on Stelter. <laughs> I could have been a presidential candidate. Yeah. But he does come in every few weeks for voluntary conjugal visits. He just wants to oh, put a smile on their face. Wow. Uh, reason number two. <laughs> He blamed it at the female prisons, clearly. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Here's the thing. I, I, I know people, I'm, not, I'm really not just weaponizing sexuality here. Of course. I had my... Everyone in this room, honestly. Okay. If you were to watch that, would you think the guy's straight? I would have questions. Well, you have the worst gaydar in the world. Pen, tell us. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think he was a person. <laughs> <laughs> Reason number two, and this one's pretty obvious. He blamed Ru the Russia, right? The, he blamed Donald Trump for the Russian collusion conspiracy. So that would seem bad enough. But yeah. here's the thing that's actually not number two here. Ooh. All right? He actually blamed the conspiracy itself on Trump. Huh. So after <laughs> Stelter was pushing the narrative, for two years right. on his show because speculation is super important, yes. and then it was completely blown up, he doesn't apologize. He blames. The conspiracy for being created by Trump. Here. You're going to hear this from the right for the next days and, and weeks to come, that the press has basically made all of this up to take down President Trump. But the press is just following a trail that Trump created. What? 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 what, what is, <laughs> does he even know what that means? So, hold on a second. Journalists were following a trail that Trump created? What? It led to nowhere, evidently. <laughs> like, like Donald Trump, like this is like, okay, this is gonna be one of the greatest tricks in political history, all right? They're gonna hang this around my neck, and it's gonna impede my presidency. I'm almost gonna get impeached. And that's it, there's nothing more to the plan. <laughs> no, it. no, that's you created plan. the false the trail, plan. you fat piece of shit. You're the one who did it. <laughs> and you blame it on Trump. Take the Steele dossier, for example. It was a fake document created by a Democrat PR firm that the media, you spread. And by the way, don't, he went on to say that the Russian collusion narrative, it was basically the entire premise of the show. By the way, 
named reliable sources. Yes. Unironically. Yes. All day, watch this clip. Welcome back to Reliable Sources, uh, where every day we're trying to keep track of the drip, drip, drip of the Russia investigations. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> it's a piece of shit walking down a trail of shit, leaving shit crumbs to find his way home. I can't keep track of all the shit. <laughs> I mean, he's really trying to cut it off at the past, and he just doesn't know how. He's no. Like, now listen, they're gonna say that the Ru yeah. the Russian collusion thing is not true, that it didn't happen, but these are the same people who don't believe I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> also, Donald Steven Trump was the one who did this. Donald Trump was the one who set the trail of breadcrumbs when uh, <laughs> Roger Stone met with the Russians and sent a tweet to Julian Assange. And by the way, what was Donald Trump doing when he had Kid Rock out in American flag pants who at one point had sex with Pamela Anderson who happens to be friends with, again, Julian Assange? Why are you leaving? It's practically a bakery, President <laughs> Trump. <laughs> what? Oh, now you're going to blame me now? That's bull****. <laughs> he needs to reinvent himself. He's got to shave yeah. it completely, Ooh. tattoo guitars in flames, yeah. and call himself Helter Stelter. That's, what, <laughs> that's what he needs. A whole new show. Yeah, a whole new show. <laughs> that, will, that show will suck too, though. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it really will. Uh, oh, man. All right. Reason number one. And he's, honestly, this is like Joe Biden. They don't really need to go in this order, but right. just because he was also in our previous POS segment, uh, defending Jesse Smollett. Now, again, it's not just about... Wait. The Jesse Smollett hate crime being exposed as a hoax. Oh my gosh. Um, that would be too uh, reductive. <laughs> we wouldn't want to be reductive <laughs> when addressing Brian Stelter. Mm, because never. he, Brian Stelter, I think of him as a nuanced issue. Mm -hmm. You know, like a bridge troll. So <laughs> he claimed, like, they're not all bad. Everybody else missed that joke. <laughs> he claimed <laughs> that news organizations were really careful. Oh. And that it was only, so this is why, it's not just that he rushed to judgment. He claimed that the news didn't rush. It was only random people on Twitter who rushed to judgment. There was a rush to judgment. I think it was mostly in the celebrity press and among activists and among Twitter people. Uh, I think it was a really careful reporting by news organizations. Uh -huh. But it all gets lumped in together at the end of the day. It all gets lumped in together in the minds of many people. Wrong again, you piece of shit! <laughs> Talking heads on CNN from Brooke Baldwin to April Ryan. I think you, Don Lemon. No, yes, absolutely Don Lemon. He actively <laughs> helped to push the Smollett hoax. And how do you know that we're telling the truth? Because now Stelter is claiming, even today, that we may never know what happened on that fateful night. The narrative has once yeah. again changed from victim, uh, you know, to villain, back to victim. It's been very confusing. No. As, as Ryan was saying, uh, people don't know what to believe, and we may never really know what happened on oh. the street that night in Chicago. Well, what? I guess it remains a mystery to all of us. Signing off, good night, and I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> if, he, if this confuses him, he's confused by on and off switches. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. The oh okay, gosh. by the way, so we may never know. Okay, let me kind of rattle off why that might, might not be true. Okay, the DA specifically said that Smollett was guilty. They were just letting him off because he served 16 hours of community service. We have video of the Nigerian brothers purchasing the materials using the yeah. attack. We have the testimony that Jesse paid them, and yeah. we have the check with the which check. he actually paid them. This story didn't have a turd in the punch bowl from the beginning. The whole punch bowl was nothing but shit. <laughs> He wrote on the memo line, fake attack. Ha ha. <laughs> Terrible criminal. Yes. <laughs> Payable to check. fake checks cash. Yes. Here's far. what I don't understand. It's gone too far. CNN <laughs> made this decision. The reason Brian Stelter has, he, he gets yes. to go out there, continually advocate for his job, right? Really, he has to. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just have a portion of his show. Watch his show. This is my challenge to you. I'm sorry, but watch his show and... <laughs> Tell me if he goes a single segment without somehow advocating for the importance of his job. And he has to do it because of the blind spot that networks like CNN have. They have to, I don't, please, someone tell me. Fat, yep, check. Talentless, yep, seemingly gay, check. Uninteresting, yep, no one will watch, check. You have a show, sir. <laughs> How does this happen? They Pretty actually, light. you wanna, he is proof positive about the, of the blind spot immediately. They actually thought his show would work. He, someone, someone, Lost to Brian Stelter. <laughs> there was a callback. Imagine being yes, in that room. Yeah, exactly. Right? There's people sitting there with their sides at the callback, and they're all everyone there, right? They're nervous, but they all feel pretty confident that he's not gonna get it. And they're point, <laughs> they're pointing to Stelter. And then they see him on television later that week and they say, no sh <laughs> That's how bad and how much of a piece of sh I think he is. If you think I'm out of line, please let me know.
Hey there, here I am uh, drinking from my mug in a button down. How often do you see this? Never. So do me a favor and yourself, click one of these videos playing one of these boxes here, or uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell also, because subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot. If you really want to support the show, join my club. If you don't, then there's no helping you.